Angioseal STS Plus, the natural evolution of vascular closure. Designed for smooth, simple deployment, the STS Plus is easier than ever to use. This new design can help physicians achieve more efficient, reproducible vascular closure while providing the best possible outcomes for both patients and clinicians. The Angioseal STS Plus provides virtually instant hemostasis following catheterization procedures by creating a mechanical seal, sandwiching the arteriotomy between a copolymer anchor and collagen sponge. The seal is held securely in place by a self-tightening suture. The anchor, collagen sponge, and the suture are all naturally absorbed within 60 to 90 days. By allowing clinicians to complete procedures in the cath lab, the Angioseal STS Plus can dramatically impact lab productivity, improve utilization of resources, reduce ambulation and discharge times, and provide greater patient comfort and satisfaction. In fact, many patients receiving a six French Angioseal can be ambulated in less than 20 minutes and discharged from the hospital one hour after ambulation. No other vascular closure device can claim such effective results. The STS Plus device kit consists of four components, an arteriotomy locator, an insertion sheath, the angioseal device, and a guide wire. The device is available in both 6 French and 8 French sizes. The STS Plus device features several design changes. An offset arteriotomy locator provides a smoother transition from locator to sheath tip, allowing for potential improved insertion performance through the arteriotomy. Also, the distal inlet holes have been repositioned to provide a single transition of the sheath tip through the arteriotomy during the arterial location process. The locator hub is keyed to ensure that the locator and sheath are assembled properly, aligning the blood inlet holes on the sheath with the holes on the locator. This also ensures that the blood drip hole is always facing down. As the locator sheath assembly enters the artery, the new offset in the arteriotomy locator provides optimal transition between the device components. Like the offset dilator, the repositioning of the distal inlet holes will help maintain the best possible conditions for closure at the puncture site. Placing the holes more proximal on the sheath prevents the sheath tip from having to enter, exit, and re-enter the arteriotomy when determining proper location in the artery. A bonus feature of this change is that clinicians no longer have to think about positioning the blood outlet hole, as the arteriotomy locator and sheath now lock together in one position only. The hole will always face away from the operator. A key element of successful device deployment is to first assess the location and characteristics of the puncture site using fluoroscopy. The vessel should be free of disease and greater than 4 millimeters in diameter. Next, snap together the STS Plus modified arteriotomy locator and insertion sheath. The locator locks into the sheath in only one direction. Remove the procedure sheath and slide the locator sheath assembly over the guide wire. Insert the assembly into the artery until pulsatile flow is achieved, indicating the sheath has entered the artery. Then, pull the assembly back until blood flow stops. This indicates that the distal inlet holes have exited the artery. Note that the sheath tip remains in the artery. Reinsert the assembly until pulsatile flow begins again, then stop immediately. The sheath is now in the proper position for deployment, approximately one and a half centimeters into the artery. With the sheath properly positioned, remove the arteriotomy locator and guide wire by bending the hub upward slightly. Be sure to hold the sheath firmly in place. Insert the angio seal device into the sheath hub, holding it by the carrier tube and slowly advancing it into the sheath. Bring the sheath and device hub together until you hear a click. This indicates that the anchor has exited the sheath. The arrows will be aligned and facing each other. Pull back gently on the device cap until you feel resistance. The anchor is now positioned at the proper angle against the sheath tip. You will now need to pull the device back into the final lock position. Some resistance will be felt as the device cap and sleeve lock together. The color bands on the side of the device should be fully exposed. Slowly remove the full assembly from the tissue tract until the tamper tube appears. 
Apply pressure downward while maintaining equal upward tension on the device hub in a gentle cinching motion. Continue to pull back until the suture has been deployed. A black compaction marker will appear, indicating that the collagen sponge is fully compacted. If the compaction marker does not appear, ease downward tension and wait a few seconds. Cinch again, providing equal tension to both the tamper tube and device. Cut the suture between the black compaction marker and the clear stop. Then remove the tamper tube with a slight twirling motion. Gently pull on the remaining suture. Using a sterile instrument, cut the suture below skin level and below the black compaction marker. Apply sterile dressing to the site. The anchor, collagen sponge, and suture will be naturally absorbed by the body within 60 to 90 days. The STS Plus deployment is accomplished in three easy steps. Locate the artery, set the anchor, seal the puncture. The easy to use STS Plus device helps clinicians to achieve reliable and successful hemostasis time after time. It allows procedures to be completed in the cath lab, offering outstanding ambulation and discharge times, increased staff productivity, better utilization of resources, and greater patient comfort and satisfaction. The exoseal vascular closure device is intended for femoral artery puncture site closure, reducing time to hemostasis and ambulation in patients who have undergone diagnostic or interventional procedures using any standard 5, 6, or 7 French femoral introducer sheath with up to 12 centimeters working length. Using two visual indicators, a bleed back signal and an indicator window, the exoseal vascular closure device promotes proper positioning of a patented resorbent plug relative to the arteriotomy. After completion of the catheterization, verify that the femoral artery is suitable for arteriotomy closure with the exoseal device. To use the exoseal device, verify that the sterile package is not opened or damaged prior to use and remove it from the sterile packaging using aseptic technique. Orient the device so that the indicator window on the handle faces upwards. Insert the delivery shaft into the femoral sheath up to the marker band on the delivery shaft. Next, without advancing the device, retract the femoral sheath proximally toward the handle assembly until it compresses the green wire cowling against the white device handle. Pulsatile flow will be observed from the bleedback indicator. Pulsatile flow indicates that the device is properly positioned and is a requirement to continue with device deployment. The indicator wire will automatically deploy when the wire cowling locks into position against the device handle and a click is heard. Slowly retract the exoseal device and the femoral sheath as one unit following the angle of the tissue tract less than or equal to 45 degrees until pulsatile flow has significantly slowed or stopped from the bleedback indicator. The reduction in pulsatile flow is an important visual indicator that the device is approaching the correct position for plug deployment. Continue to slowly retract the exoseal vascular closure device and the femoral sheath until the graphics pattern in the indicator window changes from black and white to solid black. Once the graphics pattern in the indicator window has changed to solid black, the device is in optimal position for extravascular plug deployment. Fully depress the plug deployment button to deploy the plug. The indicator wire will automatically withdraw, followed by deployment of the plug at the vascular margin. Retract the exoseal vascular closure device and the vascular sheath until the device is completely removed from the patient and apply light pressure to the wound site for two minutes. Evaluate for hemostasis and apply a light pressure dressing to the puncture site. 